Hello, hockey fans and Stratomatic hockey fans. I'm here again with another card and dice game for you. Today, it's going to be the 2021 uh, Boston Bruins against the 2021 New York Islanders. And as you can see, I had a custom uh, Stratomatic hockey mat made of the Islanders because that's my team and um, it's kind of it's kind of cool it's kind of like a, a much bigger version of the uh, actual board um, and then uh, of course sportsman Z with the hockey stick and the hockey puck um, and uh, yeah we're gonna do another card and dice game the Bruins in the 2021 season were 33 16 and 7 and in third place in the east and uh, the islanders were 32 17 and 7 and in fourth place in the east so very close like one point separated them or something like that so um or maybe maybe two points of course this was back when the uh in the the 2021 season was you know, that crazy season where there was three or four made-up divisions, like the NHL realigned, and there was a North Division, which was the Canadian teams, and there was an East Division, which was all the teams in the East, and there was a West Division, and I think there might have been a South Division or some other type of division, and then all the teams only played each other in that, you know, in those realigned divisions. So uh, this is a game from that season, from that very season. Um, and we are going to play the game. Now, of course, again, I want to let everybody know I, I'm doing the basic version of the hockey game. And I'm not intimately familiar with this because I don't play it a lot. I did do another game um, previously between the Hartford Whalers and the San Jose Sharks, but I don't do it a lot. So there are going to be mistakes that I'll probably make. And also remember that for 20-sided die readings, I I use, or, tw you know, uh, 20 rating, I use a 20-sided uh, die. I don't use the split deck, even though I could. I only use the split deck when I need to for actual readings and results. So with all of that said, we're going to get underway and we are going to roll the dice to see who starts off with control of the game. And also, I want to point out, I've got my, you know, lines are made up and uh, put in, you know, these plastic folders or these plastic inserts so that I can just flip them over when I need certain lines. Uh, makes it a lot easier then laying the cards out and picking the cards back up. So anyway, we're going to get started. That is a three and three says it goes to the home left defenseman. So the home left defenseman is Nick Letty and um, we will flip the card and the home team has it and he it says it loses puck and it's an outside shot for the center. So um, he loses it to Bergeron. Patrice Bergeron has it for the Bruins. And he has an outside shot. Um, I think he can try to penetrate. And he is a penetration four. So he is definitely going to try to do that. And we will look at the penetration chart and roll the dice. And, uh, oh, let's wait a minute. It's, I think we do a 20-sided die, right? Yeah, we do a 20-sided die. So that's a 7, and he is a 4 penetrating. Successfully penetrates, so he is inside, and now we'll roll a 2 dice now, and he takes an inside shot. And that is an 8, and that's an X rebound. So it's a save by the goalie and a rebound. And uh, I've got the goalies up here. So that's right for the moment. It's a save by Varlamov, who is the goalie for the Islanders in this game. And we will pick a, the card and see what the uh, 
and see what the rebound says. Rebound, offensive right defenseman if his offense rating is three or more. And his offense rating is a three, so he does have a rebound shot, and that's Charlie McAvoy. And he gets a six, rebound shot is lose to the defensive center. So uh, Brock Nelson is the defensive center for the uh, on the ice. He's the center for the Islanders, and he has the puck, and it says outside shot for right wing. So his own right wing has an outside shot, and he is a penetration three. I'm going to try it. We'll try it with a penetration three, trying to get inside. 19, I don't like the odds of that. Nope. Lose to opponent. So he is the right wing, so he loses to the left wing of Boston, who now has it. And we'll pick another card. And the visitor says passing K. So Marshawn has the puck, and passing K says inside shot for right wing. So that's David Pasternak. He has an inside shot. He will take it. And that is a, a save, and the left wing, defensive left wing, has it. So that's Anthony Bolivier, who now has the puck for the Islanders. We pick the card, and it says home, says opponent, defense, 13. So the right wing's defense, 13, is takes away the puck. So that is David Pasternak taking the puck away. He now has the puck, and uh, he's the visitor. It says opponent defense 12. So the left wing's opponent defense 12 says takes away the puck. So Bolivier gets the puck back, and the card for him says passing J. So we'll look at the passing section, J, and it says inside shot for center. Brock Nelson with an inside shot, and he'll take the shot. And that is an 8, and that's going to be a save and a rebound. We will look at the rebound section on the split deck. Rebound says offensive left defenseman has the uh, rebound shot. So we'll look in that section. That's an 8, and that's an X rebound. So we have another rebound off of Nick Letty's shot. And that says offensive center. Offensive center now has a rebound shot. And that is a 7, and 7 says save defensive center. So uh, the defensive center comes away with it. That's Bergeron, and after all that, we'll pick another card. And it says opponent defense 14. So Brock Nelson's 14 says outside shot. So Bergeron has an outside shot. He's a penetration 4. He will try to penetrate, and that's a 19. He's not going to get inside either, I'm pretty sure. And uh, nope, and it says lose to opponent. So that means Brock Nelson has it. We look at the home section for Brock Nelson. It says lose puck outside shot for opponent. Again, Bergeron takes the puck away, and now he's down the other end of the ice, has an outside shot. He will try to penetrate, though. He's a four. We're always going to try that. 16. Not sure on that. Nope. He loses the puck. Back to Brock Nelson. And now there's going to be a forward line change. So I will flip the forward lines over to the second lines. And that means that instead of Brock Nelson having the puck for the Islanders, it's now... Matthew Barzal and he has it and uh, we will pick the card for him and his says passing L so passing L is inside shot any great pass I don't know what great pass question mark says but it is an inside shot for any player we're gonna give that to Anders Lee Roll the dice, an 11 on inside shot. It's a goal, 1 to 14. We'll roll a 20-sided dice, and it's knocked. It is a save. And so, um, hmm, 
I don't know what happens what we what happens if there's a save and uh, well I, I guess you would say it's a it's a face-off probably a face-off so a face-off in their end and we will roll a dice for the face-off and that's a 20 visitor right defenseman comes away with it off of that and that's Charlie McAvoy so we will pick the card again Islanders blew a great chance there uh, passing J on McAvoy is inside shot for the left wing so that is uh, Sean Kirillay and also did I change their line yeah I did so that is going to be Sean Carolay. And he has an inside shot. That is a nine. That's going to be a save in the right wing, defensive right wing. So that's Cal Clutterbuck now has the puck. And we will pick another card. And uh, visitor, or no, home says outside shot for the center or left wing. So it would be the center because that was the one that wasn't in parenthesis. And he has an outside shot, but he is a penetration four, so we will try, he'll try to penetrate. That's a 17. Doesn't happen. All these high rolls on penetration. So uh, it is a lose to the opponent, which means a lose to Charlie Coyle. So now Charlie Coyle has the puck for the Bruins. And that says, visitor, lose puck, outside shot for opponent. So it's an outside shot for Barzal. Again, he will try to penetrate. This time he does get inside and has an inside shot. And that is a five on inside shot, which is a save in the defensive right wing. So DeBrus comes away with the puck. He is the visitor. And it says possible breakaway. So we'll pick the card for the breakaway. That says right wing if breakaway penetration rating is four. If not, lose puck to opponent. So let's see. Right wing. Well, he, he's the one that has it. So it's the center for the breakaway penetration. And he is not a four. So he loses um Breakaway penetration board. If not, lose puck to opponent. So, I guess he would lose it to the left wing, Anders Lee. And now there's a defensive line change. So we will make the defensive line change. And that means just flipping them over. Very simple process. And Anders Lee with the puck. Pick the card. And he is the uh, home left wing. Lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. So that is Connor Clifton. Connor Clifton comes away with it. He just got on the ice. He has an outside shot. He is a penetration one, so he'll take the outside shot. And that is a nine, which is a save in the defensive center. Comes away with the puck. That's Barzal. We'll pick the uh, card. He is home, and it says passing L. Passing L is inside shot for any player. Great pass. I'm um, going to make it Anders Lee again. That's a two, and that's going to be save any defensive player. So they will give the puck to Charlie Coyle. The Bruins will. And Visitor says outside shot for the right wing. That's DeBrusque. He is a penetration three, so they're going to try it. They'll try to get him inside. 12 on a three is just outside. He loses it to the opponent. Loses it to Anders Lee. Anders Lee has the puck. He is the home. Opposing defensive players penalty rating. Um, a, 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 B, or C. Anything but a D. There's a two-minute penalty. So he is across from DeBrusque, and his penalty rating is a D. So it isn't, and so a D takes the puck away and has an outside shot only. So that is DeBrusque with an outside shot. That is a five, and that's a save defensive center. So now Barzal has the puck for the Islanders. And we'll pick the card. 
and it says for home it says opponent defense 14 so Charlie Coyle's defense 14 gives him an outside shot and I'm just gonna take it I haven't been successful getting inside 10 is goalie rating all right nice if he'd been inside it wouldn't be so we're gonna do with the goalie rating and um, look at Tuka Rask's card and do the roll and that is a 10 and 10 is a face off so there's going to be another face off we'll roll the puck or roll the dice for the face off it's a 17 visitor left wing so the left wing is Curale for Boston let me neaten these up a little bit and he is the visiting team visitor says opponent defense 13 so the right wing's defense 13 is outside shot. So he's letting Curley have an outside shot. He is in uh, penetration two, so he's just going to take the outside shot. And that is a seven, and that's going to be a save, and the right defenseman comes away with it. That is Noah Dobson. So Noah Dobson now has the puck. He's the home team. Opponent defense 12. So the left defenseman's defense 12 is takes the puck away. So Mike Riley, the opposing defenseman, takes the puck away and he's the visitor. And it says passing L. Inside shot for right wing, great pass. So right wing um, is DeBrusque with an inside shot. So we're just going to take the inside shot. That is a four, and that is a save left defenseman. That's Braden Coburn for the Islanders, and there is a forward line change. So I will change the lines, and that means bringing out line three for everybody. On the ice now, for the Islanders, that's Kyle Palmieri, Jean-Gabriel Peugeot, and Jordan Eberle. And for Boston, that is Nikki Ritchie, David Kretschy, and Craig Smith. So um, Coburn has the puck, the left defenseman. He's home, so it says lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. So Mike Riley has an outside shot. Can't imagine he's a good penetration. He's a two. He'll just take the outside shot. That is a seven, and that's going to be a save, and the defensive center comes up with it. That's Pajot. Pajot has the puck and he is the home team. Outside shot for any player. We will give that to Palmieri and we'll try to get Palmieri inside. He is a penetration four. That is a 12. Penetration four. Looks like maybe he's going to get inside. He does. And um, so now he has an inside shot. And that is a six. Inside shot is goalie rating. We'll roll the dice and look at Rask's card. That is a four, and it's a goal one to 19 or a face off. And it is a goal. another face off now at center ice so we'll roll the dice for the face off that is a 10 um, that's going to be home right wing so Eberly comes away with the puck he is the home player and home says passing J and he has an inside shot for the left wing which is Palmieri so Palmieri taking another shot that is an eight, that's gonna be an X rebound. So it's a save and a rebound. We'll check the rebound card on the action deck. Defensive right defenseman, if his defense rating is three or more. Defensive right defenseman, if his defense rating is three or more. And it is. And so he takes the puck away. He's on the visiting team. And opponent defense, anything but C or D, there's a penalty. So that means the left defenseman penalty rating is a D, though. 
So he takes the puck away, and that's Braden Coburn taking the puck away. And he is the uh, home player. And this says opponent defense rating anything but C or D. And that is the right defenseman, and his penalty rating is a D, so he takes the puck away. No penalties yet in this game. We go to, he is the visitor player, and again, a possible penalty if he's anything but a D, but he is a D, and so he takes the puck back away. This is just take the puck away game. Um, home, lose puck, outside shot for right wing. So the right wing, Craig Smith, has an outside shot. He is a penetration four, though. He will try to get inside. That is a four. He is inside, and he has an inside shot. That is an 11 on an inside shot. It's a goal one to seven. And I assume that this means out of uh, on a 20-sided die. So... And he, it isn't. He does not have, you know, no, it doesn't. You know what? God, I don't know if it means on the two dice or on the, on the six-sided dice or on the 20-sided dice. I'm going to say it's on the 12s. On the, so that is a goal. And my mistake, no goal. That Bruins goal is disallowed. They were offsides. Really, what happened was I did roll and refer to the wrong dice. So the Bruins goal will be taken off the board, and that will be reflected in the second period. And uh, the Bruins tie the game up. Craig Smith with a goal, he ties the game, and now we have another face-off at center, center ice. And that is a nine. Nine on the face-off is home left wing. So the home left wing comes away with it. That is Palmieri. Pick the card and the home player it says passing K. Passing K is lose puck to the right wing. That's Craig Smith again. And this is the last card of the period. And he gets an opponent defense 14. Um, that would be Palmieri, and that's an outside shot. Craig Smith with an outside shot. He'll try to penetrate inside. He doesn't get inside, and that will be the period with the score tied after one period at one apiece between the Islanders and the Bruins. All right, we're back for the second period between the Boston Bruins and the New York Islanders. And uh, as you may know from the excerpt that I inserted into the first period, one of the goals for the Bruins has been, really the only goal for the Bruins, has been taken off the board by me because I did resolve the goal the wrong way. I used the two dice when I should have used the 20-sided dice, and I did roll the 20-sided dice before switching to the two six-sided dice to resolve the goal reading and the 20 sided die said that it was that it wouldn't have been a goal so uh and then i rolled the two six sided dice and it said it would have been but that wasn't the way you were supposed to resolve it so that goal has been taken off the board and the islanders come into the second period with a one nothing lead and uh and again totally unbiased on my part <laughs> so anyway we are going to the second period with the Islanders up one nothing, um, and we are going to roll for the faceoff. And the faceoff is a four, and that's the home right defenseman. So the home right defenseman. And by the way, I did do line changes, so the third defensive lines are out for both teams, and the I believe it's the third offensive line or maybe the fourth no it's the fourth offensive lines for both teams as well so the home right defenseman um has the puck first and that is ryan pollock and uh 
we will uh, pick the card. It says home opponent defense 13. So the left defenseman for, that's the left defenseman for Boston. And he takes the puck away. And that is Matt Grelzelich. I don't know what his name, I don't know how to pronounce that. So now he has it. And uh, the visitor says lose puck possible breakaway. So we're going to look at the breakaway card. And the breakaway card says left wing or right wing. And the left wing is the one that's not in parenthesis, so it is Matt Martin. And we will roll the dice. He has a breakaway shot. That is an 11 on breakaway, and it's a goal 1-16. to 16, And I would have known that it was the 20-sided dice if I had seen that card in the first period. And that is a goal... <laughs> The uh, Matt Martin with the goal puts the uh, Islanders up by the score of 2 nothing. So we will do another face-off. And that is a 1, and that's home left wing. So that is Matt Martin again. Matt Martin gets it off the face-off. We pick the card, and it says passing K for him. Lose puck to the left wing. So it is Taylor Hall of Boston who now has the puck. And the visitor says opponent defense 14. So that would be the right wing. And in this case, that's Travis Zajac. And that's his outside shot. So uh, Taylor Hall has an outside shot, but he can try to penetrate and he will. And that is a six. He gets inside and he has an inside shot. And that is a six on inside shot and it is goalie rating. And we will roll the dice for the goalie rating and the goalie for the Islanders. His name hasn't come up yet, but it is Varlamov. And we'll roll that and it's a five. And five is save any forward. So I will give it to Casey Sezikis, the center for the Islanders. And home says inside shot for any player. So uh, we're going to give that to Zajac. And we'll roll the dice on the inside shot. And it's a 10. And that is save and left wing comes up with it. The defensive left wing and that is Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall with the puck, and it says lose puck outside shot for center. So he loses it to Casey Sezikis, who has the outside shot. I'll just take it, and it's a 12, which is a save in the defensive left wing, and that is Hall who has it, and we'll pick the card. Hall with the puck. It says passing J. Passing J is an inside shot for the center. That's Curtis Lazar. So, Curtis Lazar of Boston with an inside shot. That is a goalie rating. So, we will roll the two dice. And that is a six. And that is a goal. Straight up goal. And Boston now officially does get on the board and makes the score two to one. And we will, we will roll the 20-sider for another faceoff. That is a nine. Home left wing. So the puck will start with Matt Martin, and uh, it says outside shot for the center. So that's Sezikis. He's a penetration too, so he'll just take the outside shot. That is a six, and that is going to be lose to the defensive left wing. That's Taylor Hall, and we'll remember that because we have a forward line change. So both lines will change and they will go back to one. I think it was, all right, so it was, I think it was their left wing that had it. And that's Marshan now. And that says inside shot for any player. So they're going to give it to Patrice Bergeron and roll the dice. 
And that is a nine on the inside shot, and it's a save, and a left wing comes up with it, and that is now Bolivier. And home says outside shot for the right wing. And uh, that's Josh Bailey with the outside shot. He is a penetration three, but I'll just take the outside shot. And that is a goalie rating, so we will roll on Rask's card. That's a five, and that's a goal! And now all of a sudden they're scoring left and right here as the Islanders take a 3-1 to one lead. And we will roll for the new faceoff. That's a 17, probably going to go to the Bruins. Yep, visitor left wing. So the left wing for the Bruins is Marshan. He has the puck. Visitor says passing K. Inside shot for the right wing. That's Pasternak, so we will roll for the inside shot. That's a five, and that is going to be a save, and the right wing comes up with it for the Islanders. And that's Josh Bailey. They pick a card, and it's an opponent defense 13. So the left wing, Marshawn's defense 13, he takes the puck away from Bailey, and now he has it. And uh, Visitor says, lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. He is a penetration too, so I'll just take the outside shot. That is a 10. It's a save, and the left wing comes up with it. And that is Marchand again. And the defensive lines change. These so we will... Um, oh yeah, Marchand has the puck. He's the visitor, and I've got my cat down here visiting. Opponent defense 12. So the left wing's 12 defense, he takes the puck away. So that's Bolivier taking the puck. No, wait a minute. Nope. Yeah, it's, it is, it still takes the puck away, but it's Bailey who takes it away. So home is passing J, and that's an inside shot for the left wing. So that will be an inside shot for Bolivier. And we will do that. 10 is lose to the defensive right defenseman. So the right defenseman is Charlie McAvoy, and he comes up with the puck. We refer to visitor, and it's opponent defense 14. So the left defenseman's defense 14 is outside shot. McAvoy has an outside shot. He's a penetration three. They'll try that. And 11, let's see. Um, he does get inside, so he has an inside shot. That's a seven. That's going to be a goalie rating. We will look at Varlamov and roll the dice. That is a four, and that's going to be a face-off. So we'll roll the dice for the face-off, and that is a five. And five is home left wing. So... The puck goes to Bolivier. We pick the card. Home says lose puck outside shot for opponent. So the right wing Pasternak has an outside shot. He will try to work his way inside. Now I, remember, I realize I could be passing, but with most of these guys, they're good at penetration anyway, and they're good shooters and you know goal scorers. So I just try to put them, get them inside. Uh, but that doesn't work, and he loses the puck to um, the left wing, and that's Bolivier. So now Bolivier has the puck, and it is a passing K on his card, which is an inside shot for the right wing. That's Josh Bailey taking the inside shot. That's a 9. That's a lose to the right wing. Pasternak has the puck back. And uh, that says possible breakaway. So we'll pick the card for the breakaway. And the breakaway section says left defenseman if breakaway penetration is two or more. And uh, it isn't. So if not, lose puck to opponent. And I mean, that's the right defenseman. 
in this case, and that is going to be Scott Mayfield. All right, Mayfield with the puck. We'll pick the home. Look at home. Lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. That is Charlie McAvoy. He's a penetration three. They will try it. That is an 11. He does get inside. He'll take the inside shot. It's a six, and it's a lose to the defensive center. So Brock Nelson now had it. And there is a another, another forward line change. Hmm. All right, I must have I meant to put defensive line change there. You know what? Um, they're probably either that or I missed it. All right, well, we'll do a forward line change then. And remember that the center for the Islanders has it. And in this case, that's Matthew Barzal. Oh, no, that's right. We did do the line. We did the defensive line change. All right, I didn't miss it. All right, so we'll pick the card. Barzal has the puck. Um, passing L. And passing L on his says, inside shot for any player. Um, I'm going to give that to Anders Lee. That's a 12 on the inside shot, and it's a lose to the right defenseman. So Charlie McAvoy comes up with it. And for visitor, it says outside shot for the center. That's Charlie Coyle. He's only a penetration, too. So let's see what he is passing. You know what? I'm going to do a pass, and I believe you have to look at the passing section on the card. Against E, inside shot for center or left wing. Oh, okay. Even, inside shot for center or left wing. Um, so that's going to be Kirillai. Kirillai with the inside shot. That's an eight. That's going to be a rebound, a save and a rebound. We'll look at the rebound section. And that says offensive right defenseman. So that is Charlie McAvoy with a rebound shot. And 11 is a goal, 1 to 14. We'll roll the black die. And it is a goal. And the Bruins now make the score three to two. They're only down by a goal. And if that first period goal hadn't been taken off the board, they'd be tied right now. That is a three, and that is home right, a left defenseman. So Nick Letty with the puck. Look at the home section. Opponent defense 14. So the right defenseman's opponent defense 14 takes away the puck. That's McAvoy taking the puck away from Letty. And then on the uh, visitor side, opponent defense 13. So the left defenseman Letty, outside shot. Outside shot for McAvoy. He'll try to work his way inside. He doesn't get inside. He loses the puck. And um, let's see. Yep. Loses the puck to Letty. Looking on the home section, opponent defense 12, so we'll look at McAvoy's defense 12, takes the puck away. It's a back and forth. It's like a tennis game again. Um, the visitor, he has an outside shot for the left wing. That is Kirillai. He's only a two. I will pick the passing, pick the, uh, pick the card, and we'll look at the passing. Lose puck, defensive center has control. So Barzal comes up with the puck. He is the home player. Outside shot for any player. That's going to be Anders Lee. And we will try to work it inside with him. He is a four, penetration. Ten, he gets inside and he has an inside shot. That is a seven. And that's going to be save and any player comes up with it. They'll give it to Coil. And Visitor says passing L. Lose puck to the right wing. So Cal Clutterbuck has it for the Islanders. And uh, he's home and it says lose puck possible breakaway. So we'll pick the card. We'll refer to the breakaway section. 
Left defenseman if breakaway penetration is a four. If not, lose puck to opponent. Um, breakaway penetration is not a four, so he loses it to the right defenseman, and that's Scott Mayfield. Mayfield has the puck. This is the last card of the second period. And that says opposing defensive players penalty rating anything but a C or a D there's a penalty so that means the left defenseman and his penalty is a C so he takes the puck away and has an outside shot only and that is a five and that's going to be a save and the right defenseman comes up with the puck and that is the end of the second period and now the Islanders have a three to two lead after two periods here in New York. Well, we're back. We're here with the third period of our game between the 2021 Bruins and the 2021 Islanders. And uh, the score entering the third period is Islanders 3, Bruins 2, and so far, notably, we have not had any penalties. No penalties whatsoever. Now, from the Islanders' standpoint, that's kind of understandable because they were a team that wasn't very highly penalized. From the Bruins' standpoint, though, that is highly uh, irregular for them. But, I digress. That's the, where we are. And so... We will get on with the game. We're going to do the face-off for the third period. That is a 19. It goes to the visitor's left defenseman. So the visitor's left defenseman is in control. And by the way, to start the period, I have the um, first... Yes, I have the first uh, defensive pairing for each team and the third offensive line. So anyway, that ends up that Mike Riley has control of the puck, and he is the visitor. So we'll flip the card, and it says passing J on his card, and that is inside shot for the left wing, and that is Nick Ritchie. He already has an inside shot, no need to pass, no need to do any of the other stuff, and that is a save, and the defensive center comes away with it, and that is Jean Gabriel Pajot. And so he is the home center, so we'll look at home. That says passing K, and that says inside shot for the left wing, and that's Kyle Palmieri. So Palmieri with an inside shot, no need to pass it or do anything fancy with it. He loses the puck to the defensive center, so that's David Krejci. David Krejci has the puck. He is the uh, visitor. And that's his possible breakaway. So we'll pick the card for the breakaway. Breakaway says left defenseman if the breakaway penetration is three or more. And uh, it is not. So if not, lose puck to opponent. I assume that that means Pajot. He is the home center. And that says lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. Now the right defenseman has it. That's Connor Clifton with an outside shot. He is a penetration one, and I don't think he's all that great even really at passing, so he'll just take the outside shot, and that is lose to the left wing. That's Kyle Palmieri. We will pick the card for the home, and that says opponent defense 12. So the right wing, opponent defense 12 is takes the puck away. So Craig Smith takes the puck away. He now has it. He is the visitor. It says outside shot for the left wing. That's Richie, but Richie is a four penetration, so they'll try to penetrate. Passing doesn't seem to work really well in this game or doesn't seem to benefit them, so I'm going to try to get him inside, and he is inside. So with an inside shot, Nick Richie, seven, is lose to the defensive center. Well, a save, and the center comes away with it, and that's Pajot. Peugeot has it, and that says opponent defense 12. So Krejci's defense 12 is he takes the puck away. So now Krejci has it. We'll pick the card. He is the visitor, and it says outside shot for the center. Although he is the center, so 
we'll give it to the left wing. The outside shot, he'll try to work his way inside. He does get inside, has an inside shot, that's an eight. That's going to be a save and a rebound. We will pick the card and refer to the rebound section. And that says defense, any player with a defensive rating of two or more. All right, well, there better be. And really, it looks like everybody has a defensive rating of two or more. So I'm going to give it to Pajot. And then there's a forward line change, so I'm going to have to remember that uh, our center has the puck. And we're going to flip the line to line four. So the fourth line's out there right now. And uh, Casey Sezikis is the center who uh, picks it up for the Islanders. And that says outside shot for the center or left wing, but he has the puck, so it'll be the left wing. Outside shot, he that's Matt Martin, he's a two. He'll just take the outside shot. He already has a goal. That is a six, and it's a lose to the right wing. So Chris Wagner, the right wing for the Bruins, has the puck. That says inside shot for any player. Um, they're going to give it to Taylor Hall. So Taylor Hall will have the inside shot. That is a five on the inside shot, and it's a save and any player comes away with it. I'm going to give it to Zajac, Travis Zajac, the right wing. Holmes says outside shot for the right wing or center. So he is the right wing, so it'll be Sezikis, the center with the outside shot. I'm just going to take the outside shot. It's a three, and that is a goalie rating. We, oh, wait a minute. Yes, and we will refer to the goalie, and that is Tuka Rask. Roll the dice on him, and nine is a goal! <laughs> so the Islanders take a 4-2 to two lead. You have to imagine that may be a commanding lead for them. But anyway, we'll see. It's a two-goal lead. Um, visitor left defenseman comes away with the puck off the face-off. So that is Mike Riley, who now has the puck. He's on the visiting team, passing K. Inside shot for the center. So that would be Curtis Lazar with the inside shot. And that is a nine, and that's a save left wing. So Matt Martin comes away with the puck. And he is home, and that says opponent defense 13. So the right wing's defense 13 says outside shot. Martin's just going to take it. That's an eight. It's a save and a rebound. We will refer to the rebound section. That says de defensive right defenseman. So... Uh, the right defenseman is Connor Clifton. The defensive right defenseman is Connor Clifton. He's a visitor, and it says lose puck possible breakaway. We'll refer to the breakaway section of the next card. Center, if breakaway penetration is four. If not, lose to opponent. It isn't, so he loses it to Curtis Lazar. And now there's going to be a defensive line change. And we will just turn it over. And this will be, I guess this is line one and the other one was line two. But anyway, that's what we'll do. We'll do it that way. Defensive line change is done. That means for the Islanders, it's Nick Letty and Scott Mayfield. And for the Bruins, it's Lauzon and Charlie McAvoy. And they want their best out there anyway. So Lazar has the puck, and he is the visitor. It says lose puck outside shot for right wing. That's Zajac, and he has an outside shot. He'll just take it. I mean, they're up by two goals. That is going to be a save, and the left defenseman comes away with the puck, and that's Lauzon. 
He's a visitor. Opponent defense 14. So the right defenseman's de defense 14. That is takes away the puck. So Scott Mayfield takes the puck away from Lauzon. And then it says inside shot for any player with, from Mayfield. So I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give it to Zajac. And that is a five, and it's a save in the right wing. Comes away with the puck. That's Chris Wagner. And uh, Visitor says loose puck outside shot for center. Outside shot for the center. Sezikis, he'll just take it. That is a six, and that is lose to the left wing. Now the... Uh, Bruins are down by two goals, and it's getting late, so we're going to put their first line out there. So I'm making a line change, even though it doesn't say to make the line change. And Brad Marchand has the puck. Um, he's a visitor. It says passing K. Passing K is an inside shot for the right wing, and that's Pasternak. And that is a four on the inside shot. And it's a save left defenseman. Nick Letty comes away with the puck. And he is home. Opponent defense or opponent um, penalty rating. If it's a D, he takes the puck away and has an outside shot only. Um, but if it's anything else, there's a penalty. So that means the right defenseman. And his penalty is a D, so he does. He takes the puck away, McAvoy does, and has an outside shot. And he will take it. That is a 7, and it's a save left wing. Matt Martin has it. And with that, the forward lines change. But we just changed the Bruins line, so they're going to keep their line out there. The Islanders' first line out there, and that is Anders Lee, Matthew Barzal, and Cal Clutterbuck. Um, all right, now, where's the puck? All right, we're going to say Anders Lee has it. Um, he is home. Opponent defense, well, it doesn't, or opponent penalty rating anything, it's a two minute penalty. So that's a penalty for the right wing Pasternak. So we will roll the dice and uh, look at the penalty. So let's see. It's a seven. And if the left wing is two or more. Short-handed team involved players defensive rating. If the left wing is a two or more um, defensively, and he is, so this is what we have. We have uh, outside shot for the right wing on the power play. So that is Cal Clutterbuck as a five. Save right wing. Outside shot for the left wing. That's Anders Lee. That is a six. And that is a save right wing. Outside shot for the center. That's Barzal. That is a seven. That's a save right wing. And inside shot for the center. And that is also Barzal. And that is a four, and that is a save and defensive right wing. So the defensive right wing comes comes out of all of that, out of the power play with it. Uh, visitor says anything but a D across from him. So the left wing uh, penalty is a D, though. So he takes the puck away and has an outside shot only. That's Anders Lee. That is a six, and that is going to be a save in the right wing. So Pasternak has the puck back, and Visitor says outside shot for any player. That's going to be Marshand, and Marshand's going to try to work his way inside. 
he is a six. That's a six, so he does get inside, and he's going to try to uh, take take the inside shot. And it's goalie rating. Goalie rating for Varlamov is an eight, and that's a save either defenseman. So we will give it to Nick Letty. And he is home, anything but a D at right defenseman. But he is a D, so takes the puck away, has an outside shot only for McAvoy. That is a four, and that's going to be a save right wing. Right wing is Clutterbuck. He comes away with the puck. And it says opponent defense 14. So the left wing's defense 14 is takes the puck away. Marichon has it. And he is a opponent defense 13. So left wing, right wing, 13, outside shot. Marshawn has an outside shot, but he'll try to work his way inside. He does get inside. He takes the inside shot. It's a goalie rating. We look at Varlamov, and it's a 7, and that's going to be a face-off. So we're going to roll the uh, dice for the face-off. That is a 15. 15 is visitor left defenseman. And that's Lauzon. Lauzon comes away with it. And this is opponent defense 13. The right defenseman's uh, defense 13 is takes the puck away. So Mayfield takes the puck away. And it's a passing J on his card. And that's inside shot for the left wing. That's Anders Lee. That is a 12 on the inside shot. It's lose to the right defenseman. So McAvoy comes away with the puck. Um, penalty rating, guy across from him, left defenseman, penalty rating is a D. So he takes the puck away and has an outside shot. That's Letty. That is a 4. It's a save. The left defenseman comes away with it. And that's Lauzon. And this is the last card of the game, and it says lose puck outside shot for the left wing. That's Anders Lee. He'll take the shot, and uh, that is a save rebound. We will look at the rebound section. Rebound says defensive right defenseman if defense rating is two or more. And uh, I imagine it is, and it is, and he gets the puck back. But that is the end of the game with the final score, Islanders 4, Bruins 2.